Hello and welcome back after a break. KGF trailers are making history. The trailer 2 has also found easy acceptance among the public. The universal appeal of the trailers has made the trailer popular not just in uh, Karnataka or down south. It has also found viewers in India, uh, Pan India, that's North India as well, as well as it has found a lot of people from film fraternity also praising it. Now, millions of views have been crossed and Yash Tarar has become a very hot topic of discussion amongst the people in general and in, in between the film industry people as well. People are talking about the picturization, the actor, the director and the production quality. But one person who is getting praised across India is the cinematographer Bhuvan Gauda. Bhuvan seems to have attracted the most praise when it comes down to the kind of work that's been done in the movie. If you take a look at every single frame, and this is what I've been saying all the time, if you take a look at every single frame of the film, it's almost like a painting. Now, no wonder Bhuvan is getting offers from right, left and center all across South India, Bollywood, but the cinematographer is not making any rash decisions. He's not signing on to many movies because on one part, the, the chapter two of the film is still left. It's a huge production uh, that, that has to go in. And remember one thing, the location of the shooting, the kind of shooting that's been done, it is absolutely uh, back breaking. There are dust storms, huge dust storms so that you can, you cannot see even your hand. You have to uh, wear a protective mask so that you can breathe. Otherwise, you won't be able to breathe in that much kind of that that, that kind of uh, dust storm. But the fact remains that the hard work is showing. Prashant Neil's uh, vision. It needs good technicians to translate. It needs good artists to translate. And that is what we see when we see the cinematography of the film. And the best part is. If you look at the way that the film is, Yash is quite to an extent a, a very uh, known campaigner. He's one person who has a lot of experience behind him. But if you look at the director, the director doesn't have too much of an experience behind him. He still has a fresh view to looking at movies. He's less than uh, five, seven years old in the uh, film fraternity. Same goes for the cinematographer. The cinematographer is not someone who has 50 movies behind him. He's also a guy who was act was done cinematography for what five or seven movies but this is the strength of the movie the freshness of the movie comes from the fact that the artists who are involved in it the technicians who are involved in it have a very fresh vision yash you cannot even see the importance of yash unless you realize how the movie has been made it's it's yash all the way he has been pushing for this kind of movie and he has finally found the right backer. He has finally found the right uh, producer. He has really found the right director. And the cinematographer is someone who is absolutely uh, sold on the idea of creating a classic. And I have to uh, say that hats off to all these technicians who have done such a good job. But Bhuvan Gauda requires a special round of applause. This movie has three heroes. So to say four heroes actually. One, the actual hero, the other, the director, the third, the cinematographer and the last but very important, perhaps the first, he should have been the first, is the scriptwriter. Now this cinematographer who did his first work at Lode, that was the first movie that he did as uh, DOP. Now this guy since then till now has given good piece of work but again the kind of genius that you can see in KGF, that genius was not visible. That genius has to be recognized without seeing the work. Prashant has done some good work, but that genius could only be understood by somebody who, un who knew exactly what they wanted. And Yash was able to get that team together with the help of his uh, production house, the, the production house that's working on it. So, Ombale Films, uh, Yash, they have brought the right people and Bhuvan, according to me, is an extremely, extremely positive uh, work out of this particular film. We have suddenly found another superstar. Let's hope that in days to come, he does excellent work, gets national and international recognition 
he because and I hope that he gets to direct someday. Because the way that his vision is, the way that he looks at any frame, I love it. Even if he's just translating uh, the vision of Prashant, even then, according to me, to understand that vision, to translate that vision, that shows a lot of talent, that shows a lot of promise. I hope uh, one day I'm sitting here and uh, uh, reviewing one of his directorial ventures. That will be a proud day for me. I'm Anpam. You're watching today's and I'll be right back after a very short break.